After the worst ratings in AEW history, we are here on Collision, 3rd of August 2024, to break down the quarters and see what it went horribly wrong. Welcome back to the channel and I'll let you know it did go horribly wrong, alright? There's no way you could mask 189,000 viewers, but let's see, right? What are the excuses? Was it the special start time? Could no one find the channel? I mean, <laughs> I think no one finding the channel might probably be the answer uh, because it sucks, damn it. The rating's that low. SummerSlam was on the Olympics. Either way, man, it's embarrassing. The day before, SmackDown's increasing and this halved 50 odd percent. Come on, that is unheard of. But let's go into quarter one, shall we? With the lowest quarter of the show, yeah. Ah, oh, this is this is tragic for AEW, right? The ratings, by the way, are just completely and utterly all over the place. So we kicked off the show with a Christian Cage promo, Patriarchy, House of Black recap, Dustin Rhodes, Von Eric, Sammy Guevara, backstage, five o'clock to five fifteen, a hundred and sixty-seven thousand viewers. Holy moly, right? Then the 18 to 39, listen to this, 88,000 viewers. Holy shit, that is low. There is no two ways about that, man. That is absolutely horrendous. Horre I mean, I can't even believe we, we are covering a show with that little in the ratings, man. That's incredible. In the quarter two, 5.15 to 5.30, with Hologram and Mystico taking on the Premier Athletes. 2% increase in the rating up to 171,000. But a whopping 20% increase in the 18 to 49 <laughs> to bring them up to an outstanding 106,000. Ridiculous. Quarter 3, 5.30 to 5.45. We had the Owen Cup video. Tony Storm and Ryan May had a ramp segment. Tony Storm then took on Russia Chanel and Brian Cage, Kyle Fletcher. This went up 11%. Up to 189,000 viewers. Oh, yeah. oh, wow. Tight, tight, tight. Yeah, 101,000 viewers there in the 18 to 49, down 5%. It's it's mad, like, the percentages going down 5% is actually them going down 5,000 viewers. It just shows you how low they are. You have to, obviously, for that to work out, you have to be around 100,000. And that's what we've worked out as. Then quarter four, we had 5.45 to 6 o'clock. Cage versus Fletcher continued with Fletcher, MJF promo. Swerve Strickland, Brian Danielson, Jeff Jarrett, Karen Jarrett, Jeff J. Lethal, Sanjay Dutt. Up 1%, 191,000 viewers with a 13% decrease in the 18 to 49, down to another 0.07. It was the second lowest 18 to 49 of the show, damn it. Not good, everybody. Then we have got quarter five. Klaus Dragoli, Tabira Shi, Lee Marati. Disaster ratings all around there. Just, just a disaster. But now finally into quarter six. Top flight, Mason Month, what? Lita Gray, backstage angle, Taya Falkyria versus Thunder Rosa, up 3%. And the only quarter... Well, this is the first quarter so far, sorry, to get into the 200,000 category. Ho -ho. Up 21% in the 18 to 49, the 111,000 viewers. It's pretty unacceptable, these ratings. Then down 8% in quarter 7, 6.30 to 645. It was an ad break. The Beast Motos, an undisputed kingdom against Darby Allen, FTR, and Mark Briscoe. It went minus 15% in the 18 to 49, not 0.07. Bogging. 94,000 viewers overall. Why is this even getting talked about? This company should be in the bin for ratings this minuscule. Then in the final quarter, they brought it back. It was the highest quarter of the lot, 6.45 to 7 o'clock. 11% increase, 207,000 viewers. We had the continuation of that match with the Briscoe, well, I'll say the Briscoe brothers, not one Briscoe, FTR, Allen, Undisputed Kingdom, Beast Mortos, back after he had the acclaimed and Billy Gunn. 207,000 viewers, and in the quarters, 18 to 49, up 9%, 102,000 viewers. So we end on a 0.08 in the 18 to 49. 
absolutely diabolical, guys. People can say what they want, but between the lowest quarter and the highest, they only had 30,000 viewers. So, people can pretend that, oh, they couldn't find the show, no one knew where it was. I'm going to call bullshit, because from their highest to lowest segment, they only gained 30,000 viewers for the first quarter to the last. Horrendous. They need the Olympics to end, and they need it to end now, because serious questions are going to get asked to Tony. And we had some FUD comment. The ratings don't matter. No one cares about the ratings. TV companies cares about the ratings, right? These ratings are unforgivable. You know, look, look at these show. Look at Collision and Rampage were doing early on. Rampage was doing fucking in the millions. <laughs> you know what I mean, in the millions. This show was doing like 800,000, 700,000 with Punk. Look at it now. Oh, I but they don't care. They do care. You know, maybe they care a bit less when Tony Khan's giving them duffel bags full of cash, but... Jeez, oh, these are fucking horrendous.